What's that? What's that? Oh. Oh, hi. Yeah, get him, Eileen. No, for fuck's sakes. Don't aim at that one. Aim at the one closer to you. Yeah, get out of here. Don't come back. You're not welcome. They're probably gonna come back in like 10 seconds. <gasps> oh wait, I can go in here. Uh. Yeah, that is the father. I told you we shouldn't have a baby. Father talking to the mother. Well, at least I killed the two enemies in this hallway. With my pistol ammo. Teaming him. Ow. They have a long range with their swipe. Let's use one of the med kits. Let's actually go ahead and use this drink, too. Sounds like the father convinced the mother to leave. Father sounds like a piece of shit. I do think the... Was there anything wrong with the baby to begin with, right? Like, was it a demon child of some sort? A demon baby? Because remember, I'm pretty sure... That, like, I feel like the child is probably a result of... The Wish House's experimentation trying to make another... Uh, vessel to birth the god.
Isn't it interesting how we keep finding these Walters with flashes back to when they were born, but we're finding Walter as they are now, old Walter, 30-year-old Walter, and they're all bound up. They're like imprisoned. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's sort of the general pose that they're in, in real life, on that, uh, strung up on that thing, whatever the hell they are, their body. Something about the super, don't like the look of them. Huh. Well, that absolutely confirms that the super is not the father, <laughs> which is good. And also, yeah, I, don't, I didn't think it'd make much sense anyway. Oh, right. Dead cat wrapped in a pair of jeans. I remember this room. I'll be taking that back. Thank you. Can't hold anymore. Oh. Uh. Uh, I guess I'll take one of the nutrition drinks. That's a complete waste, but that's fine. They're not that important. As long as I got my ampule. Little cry baby. Oh, right. I got excited for a half second and I remembered this is the room with all the model guns, not real guns. Just models. Sacrifice one bullet. There we go. Hmm. So what do I do now? Was that the- bless you. Was that the last apartment? Right, I need to... I need to get into here. That's the super's apartment, but it's got the chains all over the front. I've visited every single place here. Where do I go now? I visited every place on the second floor. Wait, I haven't- I haven't been to Eileen's room? Was that behind a gate or something? Is it... Is there any way to really get there? Oh, wait a second. The, the chains are just gone from the super's place. Did I need to find all the bodies? And get all those little snippets? Oh. There's the umbilical cord over there. Don't have room for a health drink, and I'm fully healed. Yeah, I'll just leave that. There's nothing I want to dump. I 
would just like to note, by the way, if I wasn't using save states... I mean, I haven't died, so I, I wouldn't have died, but still, because I'm using save states, I've been able to save this whole time. If I wasn't, my only save would be back from when we originally left the apartment. That was like a half hour ago. Oh, I can't hold any more. Right. What's the least important item? Do I really need this candle? I don't know. That, that could be important for... Not for decursing my house, but... For something else, because I can place it just on the ground. Probably would repel ghosts, and we're definitely leading into a boss fight of some sort. Um... I'll just take the health drink. It's fine. Umbilical cord. Walter Sullivan's umbilical cord. The superintendent has kept it for years. I wonder what those flashed images were. Is it just because Walter was crying? That Henry's head hurt and they saw those images? Was that just Walter? Like, reacting to the umbilical cord, something so important to them, part of their mother, part of them? Was that it, or was it something else, like a memory coming back to Henry? I have the vague thought of, like, what if Henry's the father? No, I don't think, they're not old enough, and also, they don't sound like what their father sounded like in those little snippets we heard. No, I, I think that'd be nonsense. Oh, also, by the way, I think Eileen... I think Eileen's... gonna be possessed next time we meet them, is what I feel like. Things have changed, it looks like, and we need to go back the way we came and get back to Walter's real body. But I think Walter's reacting to what we're doing. It's almost like we're inside their body and it's their immune system activating. This woman. Is this Eileen? Wait. 
just realized. A clock is dinging. The bell is tolling. What did it say about that? Something is starting when the bell is tolling. When the bell rings, Eileen, mother's body, blood. Okay, so yeah, that bell ringing means Eileen has been fully possessed, I think. There's a hole in the wall somewhere, right? Yeah, here we go. Man, this is a disturbing walk. Everything with Eileen, the bell tolling, everything in the apartment building responding to what I've been doing, trying to stop me. Like, the atmosphere here is incredible. I can feel that I'm walking to the, the big moment. Actually, wait, 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 it's not worth it, it's not worth it. Don't waste ammo, don't waste ammo. Jesus, they're fast, what the fuck? Yeah, there's way too many of them, I don't have enough ammo to stop them. Just go... Just go forwards. Did I ever try to go over here? Because I think I came from that door up there. That sounds like Eileen. Can't hold anymore. What do I have? Uh, I don't want to use any of these things. Okay, I guess I'll leave it. I guess. Okay, I haven't been to either of these apartments. Yeah, so there's a, a gate here. Huh, I don't know if this is where I need to go or if this is totally just bonus stuff. This might be bonus stuff, but if so, that's fine. Although I can't really hold anything. <laughs> just... Ugh. Yeah, there's a health drink. I don't think there's any point in being up here. I guess I'll check the other one real quick. Just in case. I mean, what if there's like a silver bullet or something? Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, there's revolver ammo. That's actually pretty important. This is... Eileen's blood? What? It is? Oh, maybe this is this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh. Come on. Oh. Stop looking at Eileen's blood! Stomp the enemy! No! Fuck's sake. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure what I should do. Should I try to go back the other way to get to my apartment? And then use that to dump off some stuff and whatnot? Is this where I'm supposed to go here? If this is Eileen's blood, then like, yeah, maybe? Hmm. 
I'm gonna progress here and just see what happens. I gotta come back for that revolver ammo, that's really worth a lot. Huh. So why is that Eileen's blood? If Eileen's not here or anything. Right, it just goes... It just goes here. Then stops. How weird. We're in room 303. Oh, wait. Oh, I just realized this is Eileen's room. Oh, whoops. I thought Eileen's room was here. But no, that's my room. Which for some reason is unmarked on the m map. Why is it unmarked? That's weird. Huh. Hmm. I have enough revolver ammo at home. I don't have that many healing items. I'm gonna leave it. As much as that pains me. Oh, there's a young Walter Sullivan over there, banging on my door. Actually, you know what? Hold on, I'm super hurt. I might as well use the med kit and then go grab the ammo. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, right, this doesn't actually take me to my home just yet. I gotta figure out how I... How did I get from here to home? Is it the staircase? At the very top, I guess? Okay, we still got a ways to go. Yeah, we gotta go through here, and then there's a hole in the wall. Yeah, here it is. Don't point at me. Fuck off. Okay, good. So I have an opportunity to do stuff before I encounter anyone. Good, because I really, really need to change out my stuff. Ugh. I don't want to go in that dark hole. I do have a candle, but like... I want to keep it. It might, it might be useful for something. I don't know what, but... It could be useful during combat. Okay. Well, actually, hold on. I should either keep the holy candle or the medallion. Not both. There's no reason to have both. There's no reason to have the nightstick anymore. I can toss that, definitely. I guess I'll just straight up use the candle. Whoa. What the hell? Why did that disappear? Why did that one disappear? This one didn't. I didn't use my medallion. That's weird. That's really, really weird. Okay, I'm just going to store my candle so I can load a save and get it just in case it turns out to be super important. I'm going to keep the sort of obedience, definitely. I'm going to completely dump my pistol. And let's just exclusively take the revolver. Yeah, I got a lot of ammo for that thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And let's do a proper full save. Where's Walter? Where's Walter? Walter's body is gone. Where could it be? Oh my god, look at this thing. It's got like a blood tube thing running on the side of it. 
Uh, apparently the body was attached to it with spikes, at least partially, around the chest area. It's got a bunch of, like, raven or crow feathers, maybe? Black feathers? Stuck in it? It's a horrific creation. But more to the point, where's Walter? Walter? Maybe I should check in there. The old version of the room. They could be there. I guess I'll check my bedroom. Bathroom? <laughs> uh... Okay, so that's cursed. Bathroom? Yeah, my money's on the old version of the room. Oh, you know what? Let's also take a quick peek in here. I haven't looked in here in forever. Still that fucking bunny. Can't just leave Eileen all alone. Eileen isn't with us anymore, though. Maybe they're not here. I've been around every room. I have the umbilical cord. The body's missing. Where would the body be? Okay, I just read a walkthrough real quick just to make sure I wasn't missing something because I was pretty sure I was, and I was. Um, yeah, I don't have to go back down or anything like that. I just have to jump into a puddle around where Walter used to be. I must have missed that part, but I'll go back there in a second. It also said a couple interesting things. I didn't read much further, but it did say a couple things. It said that I should make sure I have three open inventory slots before I go to the final fight. Obviously, I don't have that, so I got to do that. Um, it also said to make sure that I completely purify the apartment if I want the, and they use quotes, quote-unquote, good ending. Now, I don't know what else you have to do, if anything, for the good ending, so maybe I've already failed it in some other ways, but if that could help me get a good ending, then hell yeah. So, I think I have one candle. Don't I? Yeah, I've got a candle and then I have my medallion. That should be enough to purify everything. Let's, uh... Just start with the medallion. Get out of here. Okay, took care of everything. Used up my medallion and the candle, but that's fine. Um, I only have two open inventory slots, so I need to free up one. I think I can drop the Sword of Obedience, weirdly enough. It seems like a super important thing to take, but I think it might be okay. And the reason I say that is because I was reading... I was reading through the walkthrough and I had to start from pretty far back to make sure I didn't accidentally go ahead and spoil something. And it mentioned that if you hadn't used um, the Swords of Obedience on all the various other ghosts, the, the four other ghosts, basically any ones that you didn't leave staked when you left that world will then haunt you in this apartment world. They'll be in like different apartments. So I guess that makes the ending of the game or at least the lead-up to the ending, a lot harder if you don't stake them. Because, I mean, this place is already pretty hard. If I had to face even one, two, three, or four ghosts, super powerful ghosts in this place, I'd be pretty screwed. And chances are I wouldn't have collected all the Swords of Obedience if I wasn't staking them, so you probably wouldn't be able to stake them all. So this one Sword of Obedience is probably just like a help-you-out kind of thing in case you missed one, in case there's a particularly annoying ghost hanging around here, if you didn't stake them before. So I'm probably safe to dump that, and that leaves me with three inventory spots. I need the umbilical cord, of course. An ampule. I've got four uh, barrels full, I guess, of revolver ammo and a melee weapon. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is fine. This is probably the most prepared I've ever been going into a final boss in, in Silent Hill. I was super not prepared in the first Silent Hill and had to look up a walkthrough and basically exploit a, a weird K 
case where if you enter the final boss room without any ammo, it just ends the fight for you. And that was also just a horribly designed boss. <laughs> Um, I went into the boss in Silent Hill 3 with a decent amount of ammo, but I think I didn't have much healing or something. I remember it being pretty close. Actually, I think it was ammo that I ran out of first. Yeah, I actually didn't have that much ammo. But here I feel pretty good. It says enter the puddle. Oh, that's a puddle. I, s I noticed it before, but I didn't read it as a puddle. I read it as like a weird pedestal thing. But no, that makes sense. Their disgusting body has been dripping black goo. It's highly reflect reflective, too. In the depression... Uh, wait a minute, this is no normal depression. When I stare into it, I feel like I could be sucked in. It's like it's connected to some other dimension. Or maybe it's like a hole that, once you enter, you can never leave. Let's go in.